So, um, I'm going to teach you how to do something today that you may or may not ever really need, but uh, the way I see it, it's better to have the skill than to need the skill and not have the skill. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this regular old 20 ounce soda bottle into a uh, fish trap. <clears throat> Actually, I, I saw Dave Canterbury do this, and um, I had done it before with a two-liter bottle, but I, I saw he was doing it with a smaller one, so uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. Basically, all we're going to do here is just cut the top off, uh, take the cap, do away with the cap as well, and yeah, we're going to cut it right here, flip this part around so it makes a one-way entry for the fish, and uh, we'll see if we can catch anything. So yeah, you just want to make a cut, pretty simple. If I cut this right, I shouldn't have to have any kind of glue or anything to hold it together. And all you need to do is just cut it on the apex of the curve, the last one before the top of the, the bottle. <clears throat> now the way I learned how to do this was... Uh, I used to go fishing all the time and fish with minnows, and it was always a hard time catching minnows. So, came up with this idea, and a year or so later, I started seeing it on the internet. So there it is. And it's important to just get it in there just right so that, uh, let's see if I can be to see this here, just right so that the, the end stays in there correctly. And so what will happen is the little fish will crawl in there, just swim in there, and they'll get stuck inside of this bottle. And um, hopefully it'll give us either food or bait, whatever you really need at the time. But it's a pretty slick little little rig. I'm going to take it down to the creek now and see how it works. So these little fish traps, they work pretty well. But something you want to really remember is uh, try to put some kind of some kind of bait in the bottom. You know, I'm using dog food, but uh, you can use just about anything. And then you also want to put maybe one or two rocks in it so it doesn't float away as well. Um, but once you get down here, it's pretty simple. All you really have to do, uh, stick some rocks in the bottom so she doesn't float. And then... Um, Fill it up for water and stick it out there for a while and see if you catch anything. It's just pretty much that simple. So I'm at the chain of ponds. I believe this is uh, Franklin County, if I'm not mistaken. Franklin County, Maine. And uh, I'm going to see if I can catch some bait fish. But I will put them all back because you're not allowed to catch fish this way here. Um, definitely not trying to hurt anything. So if you're if you're a ranger, leave me alone. I'm I'm, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the little fishes back. So relax, will you? All right, we're gonna put the old camera there. All right, so I'm grab a few little rocks, put it in there, help weight it down a bit. Alright, got it all weighted down with rocks, you got some dog food in there, so now all you need to do is just fill our trap up with water. So I had to go out a little further to fill her up full of water. Alright, so she's full. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it right over here beside these rocks. 
Hopefully it'll give it a natural kind of place for the fish to kind of accumulate there. And, uh, maybe in a couple hours, even before then, we'll have a few little fish. Check out what's coming here. This is awesome. We get a loon. See if the dog won't. Hopefully the dog won't scare it away. He's right out there. There's a ton of these things around. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Hopefully you can see it. I'll get the canoe out later and I'll get right up to these guys and get some good video. That's a beautiful bird out there. Alright, so I went down this morning and uh, collected my handy dandy fish trap. And um, we got something. Got this guy. This sucker. But uh, you know, it's a four inch fish. And um you know when you're starving, a four inch long fish is pretty good stuff. But uh I just made that simple just out of an old sprite bottle. Let that thing sit overnight and uh got a real good sized fish. And something actually I don't know. I don't even know how he could fit through there. That 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 hole is just tiny. But he got through there, and um, he must have got stuck because something ate his tail. Probably a crawl dad. I found about a million of them down there. So anyway, fish trap works. Be sure to get one if you go in the woods, because you might save yourself from getting hungry.